Hello everyone. Hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. I have a good news for you. Now I'm on Patreon. So I would be more than thankful if you show me some love by supporting my page for a just little amount of dollars. And be sure I will help anyone that would support me with any file he would ask from me. And soon I'm planning for uh, making a online course for a small amount for about 10 or 20 dollars only. So if anyone is interested, just leave a comment under this video to talk about in the course. So for now, let's start our lesson for today. Okay, today we will make an animation tutorial for a low poly birds. Then we will put them on uh, an exterior scene that we already made and we will make render for them to have a small video. So let's start. Okay, first of all, I will go to extended primitives. I will choose spindle pendle and I will create this shape. Just like that, and just like that. Okay, I will rotate it. I will press E, or from here we can rotate our object. I will enable the angle snap, just like that. Okay, and then I will convert my shape into an editable poly. I will choose polygon from here and I will extrude this shape let's say for 20 okay and then I will add the plus sign to add another part as same as the first part we made okay I think this is fine this this part will be the wing for the bird okay we can edit by the way, you see it suitable. I will make just like that. I will move it. Okay. I think that's fine okay now i will choose vertex and i will choose this vertex and i will enable soft selection and increase the fall off a little bit just like that okay this part will be the tail of the bird we can modify it like this okay same for the head We can modify from here. From here. Okay, now I will go to front and from polygon I will choose, I will select half of the bird just like that and we'll delete it okay after that I will add the symmetry command if you can't find here go to modify list and type symmetry okay I will press flip just like that perfect okay after that I will give it a turbo smooth We can add, add it, okay. And that's, and that's the shape of the bird for now. Okay, now we will add a bend comment. Okay, I will change the axis from here 
and we'll, uh, and we'll change the direction from here and as you can see our bird now is flying as simple as that okay now we want to animate the movement of the wings okay first of all I will start by let's say minus 100 like that okay I will enable the auto key from here and move about seven frames then I will go to plus 100 just like that go to 14 for example minus 100 then to 21 you can adjust the second or the frames as you want okay I will add 100 okay so now I want to make a loop for this movement so as you can see the wings are flying and I want to make a loop for the movement so I will go to uh, here 21 I will go to 28 and I will go for graph editor curve editor then I will go to modified object choose bend and I will choose angle if I made a loop now the movement will be damaged I sh I'll show you how okay I will go for edit controller and out of range types I will choose a loop then okay okay see what happened the curve here is fine then stopped here and started diagonally so if you see from here you'll see that there are uh, damage movement here is fine here is fine okay now see the gap yeah okay and it will repair here yeah I don't want that to happen so I will delete this uh, this key okay and the trick is to have the curve down under under the black black line so if the if the curve ends here now I will not have any problem I will go for edit controller then out of range types I will choose loops loop then okay now you can see the loop is fine and I can close this and the auto key and if I press play I will see the bird is flying normally just like that okay now we will add some birds and let them fly together by a shape instance or actually by a particle systems so I will go to particle systems and I will choose the app source I will go to front and I will draw this rectangle just like this okay the size of the rectangle do matter and now we will see how okay first of all I will go to modify particle view okay I will choose birth one and if you can notice this small plus or small particle here okay if I increase this or decrease it the number or if you can say it, the birds will show up okay here here is the amount of the total of the birds so I will tell him I want only 100 birds okay and I want to start by let's say minus 200 just like that or no let's say minus 100, 150 okay from here we can adjust them also just like that okay if I move the timeline from here I will show I will see the particles are moving they are moving by the direction of the arrow here okay now 
we will go to position nothing nothing to change from here either from speed okay rotation for shape i will delete this then i'll add insert operator a shape instance okay from shape instance i will choose the bird i made previously and i will go for display and choose from type uh, geometry now you can see that the particles change for a bird like the one i made okay now i will go for rotation and change them to word space just like that and rotate the x axis just like that let's say 90 degree okay and you can see that the direction of the arrow is to the to the left side and the birds are for the right side so i want to rotate the z a 180 degree so that the birds fly diagonally with the arrow here okay so i will press 180 and i'll press play to test it okay the birds are moving right but they are not flying the the wings are fixed and not moving okay to fix to fix that we will go to shape instance okay and press animated shape just like that and if we test it we will see the birds are flying but the birds are flying in in a same way instantly without a randomization so i will go for randomize offset now you can see the movement of the wings differ or randomize from one bird to another okay so i will test it good for now okay as i told you that the size of the size of this rectangle matter so i will go for the size from here and i will change it just like that to make a little space between one bird or another also i will change the scale of the birds let's say for 50 percent just like that and we can make a variation in the size of the size of the birds to not have the same size for every, for every bird okay i will go to i don't know i think it's fine okay now if i will test what i made i think it's a good result as you can see with a few steps we did our scene ready now all what we need is to give it a simple black material and put it in the scene we want then animate it simply so let's see what we will do okay if we want to change the the number of the frames okay we will go to time configuration then we will change end time to let's say 300 frames just like that and we will test the movement of the birds perfect okay for me i will put a camera from here and capture the sky and focus on the birds i don't want to show any of these details any of this uh, model for the villa i just want to show the a part of this roof with the uh, movement of the birds so I will test what I had here
Okay, so obviously I need to make uh, some adjustment for the sky here. For me, I will add an HDRI. Okay, I will go for environment. I will choose bitmap. go for HDRI, I'll choose this okay to show the HDRI on your scene go for Alt B and press use environment background so Whatever you put here in the environment, you will show it in the view in the viewport. Okay, I'll press OK. Then I'll put this bitmap in the materials here, so I can adjust the sky by rotating it just like that. Okay, and I will test it again. And that's perfect. Okay, I think that's very good. I will go to just like that. Let's see. Okay, I'll play it. And that's all. I switched again to V-Ray Renderer because it's faster in animation rendering. I hope you had fun watching this video. I hope it was so informative to you. Please leave your comments and, and your thoughts. Hit the like button if you like the video. And see you next time.